least like you said, Brittany, we did get to dry out for, for mm -hmm. quite some time earlier this afternoon. And that was a good thing for you. We're yes. about to explain why. Yeah. Tomorrow, though, you can take a leap of faith and rappel down the Roanoke Higher Education Center. All of that money raised from the event goes to help big brothers, big sisters. You had a yes. chance. You had quite the adventure today. And the uh -huh. thing with this, I didn't know, you have a fear of heights. I do, oh yeah. My gosh. So I've got a fear of heights, and I wanted to kind of tackle that today. We had media day at the uh, Roanoke Higher Education Center. It really actually wound up being an amazing experience. Now, I won't lie, I've been nervous all day, okay? But once you take the final push over the edge, there's nowhere to go but down. The work is done, and this is kind of the fun part now. At first, this did not seem like my idea of fun. Thankfully, I had the support of my boss, Jamie Leon, and the support of many different straps, harnesses, and headgear. The over-the-edge staff wasted no time, making you feel comfortable, safe, and at ease. Tell my mom I love her. And your wife. And my wife. That feeling went away right as I got to the top of the Roanoke Higher Education Center. With a little bit of peer pressure, I did what I was always told to never do and looked over. <laughs> cool! After a brief training course, I got harnessed. That's when the fear got real and went straight to my legs. But I tried to focus on the bright side, as did Kay Dunkley, who is the executive director of the Roanoke Higher Education Center. When you're on the roof of this building, you get to see this panoramic view of the city of Roanoke. You get to see the Blue Ridge Mountains. But I could only daydream so long, it was time to go over. I stepped over the ledge with much hesitation, and from there, let out a nervous yell. <laughs> Woo! All right! After that, it was somewhat smooth sailing. So much so that I began to sing for any unfortunate bystanders within hearing distance. I'm on the edge of glory. <laughs> Woo! The wind blew just enough to keep me and my nerves cool. And before I knew it, we were back safe at ground level. Only to let out one last yell. <laughs> and get a high five from my supportive boss. If you think you can do this with more ease than me, Saturday is your day to shine. Our first repellers will drop at 9 a.m. and we will repel six people every half hour constantly till about 2 p.m. So yeah, not a bad day at work. I would definitely recommend this to anyone that wants to give it a try. It's safe, it's fun, and of course, it's for a great cause. All the money, as Brittany was just saying, goes to Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's an organization that supplies mentors to kids who are maybe facing adversity or just need a role model in their life. And both Brittany and I are thrilled to be part of that organization. And um, I heard that you're going to give it a try tomorrow. Yeah, All so, right. so that's the thing. Any words of advice? So I'm doing it, and then uh -huh. morning anchor Rachel Lucas, she's also yeah. doing it. We're going to do it together. So My word of advice is just trust the staff. They are okay. very, very good at calming you down. If you want to go tomorrow, and give it a try. I mean, again, I was really, really nervous leading up to it. And then basically, once you went over the edge, literally, <laughs> yeah. it was fine. I mean, it was actually kind of peaceful up there. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. Watching you take that look over the edge. Uh -huh. See, now I'm starting to have yeah, your stomach starts ooh, to turn a little bit. A couple bit. of butterflies. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Sure.